Okay guys, so today, we discovered another high win rate with super pullback indicators. This strategy is unique and one of a kind, so I recommend it for forex stocks and cryptocurrency traders, as this strategy made a lot of winning signals. And if you are still starting out in the world of trading, then you should definitely try this strategy out, as it is simple and easy and also very user friendly. But before we begin, please like and subscribe to the channel, as it really helps the channel grow. Subscription is free. So kindly click on it and subscribe, and don't forget to check the description below to join the best exchange, as we use them too for our daily transactions. They are trusted and reliable, so without wasting much of the time, let's dive into it. Okay guys, so for today's strategy, we will be looking at the Australian dollar United States dollar, and we are on the 5 minutes time frame. Please note that this strategy also works on other trading pairs, so do well to adjust the settings to better fit your trading style. Now let's go ahead and add the strategy to our chart, as they would be determining the rules for entry. For the first indicator, go ahead and bring up the indicator panel. Then I want you to search for the Super Trend Explorer by Kivan Kozbiljic. This indicator screens the buy and sell signals to identify possible bullish and bearish trend in the market. We will be using it as our main indicator, as we would be buying when it gives a buy signal, and we would sell when it gives us a sell signal. And for the second indicator, go ahead and search for the RSI Modified Indicator by Ronald Rinninger. This is an excellent indicator for determining when equities are overbought and oversold, though it is believed that there is a shortcoming in using the 70-30 levels. Since they are static and do not adjust for when equity is trending, it stands to reason that in a downtrend, the overbought might be less than 70 and the oversold less than 30. Vice versa is the case of a bull trend, as the reason we adding this indicator to our chart is because it would better help gauge the market momentum for us. So let's go ahead and adjust the settings for these indicators to better understand how this strategy work. Now for the super trend, double click on it to bring up its settings panel. On the inputs, change the ATR period to 21 and also change the ATR multiplier to 5. When you done, head over to the settings. I want you to untick the buy and sell label. Then click on the OK button when you done to fully initiate the settings on the chart. Ok traders, now we have our super trend looking like this. As we can see on the chart, the green lines shows we are in a bullish trend, while the red line shows we are in a bearish trend. We will be using this as our main indicator, as they determine our long and short entry. Now for the RSI, let's go ahead and bring up the indicator panel. On the style, I want you to scroll down, then change RSI middle band to straight line and also change its color to white. Now for the upper pivot limit and lower pivot limit, I want you to change both lines to straight line, as it would help us better identify RSI crossovers on the indicator. Now when you are done, go ahead and click on the OK button. Now we would be using this RSI to identify when the market has reached a lower high in a bearish trend, as well as reaching a higher low in a bullish trend. Now let's quickly go over the valid rules for entry, as we would be back testing our strategy at the end of this video, to better enable us rank the video on our spreadsheet. So make sure you watch the video to the very end, to fully understand how this strategy work, and possible errors to avoid while using this strategy. Now for a buy signal to be valid, we would want to see a green moving average from our super trend indicator as our first confirmation, before we move ahead to wait for a red cross on our RSI modified indicator as our second indicator. Once we get that, we will then be placing a buy stop order at the peak of the trigger candlestick. Once we see the blue moving average on the RSI cross above the yellow moving average. So here we see we got all our conditions met, as we see we have our super trend in green as the first confirmation. We then waited till we got this red cross on the RSI indicator as our second confirmation. We then went ahead to wait till we got the blue moving average cross above the yellow moving average on our RSI indicator before we go ahead and place our buy stop order at the peak of this trigger candlestick. Our stop loss is at the recent swing low, while our take profit level is a 2.2 times the risk and we should see we were successful. 
Now please note that this cross on the RSI was below the 50 band line on the RSI, as we only take trades when it's below the 50 band line. And notice that we won't be taking any trades here, as when we got our red cross below the RSI, the blue moving average crossed the yellow moving average when it's above the 50 band line. So we would be avoiding this trade. exactly the opposite is true for a short trade. Now for a short trade to be valid, we would want to see a red moving average from our super trend indicator as our first confirmation, before we move ahead to wait for a green cross on our RSI modified indicator as our second confirmation. Once we get that, we will then be placing a sell stop order at the bottom of the trigger candlestick. Once we see the blue moving average on the RSI cross below the yellow moving average, so here we see See we got all our conditions met. As we see we have our super trend in red as the first confirmation. We then waited till we got this green cross on the RSI indicator as our second confirmation. We then went ahead to wait, till we got the blue moving average cross below the yellow moving average on our RSI indicator before we go ahead and place our sell stop order at the bottom of this trigger candlestick. We also see we got another entry here as well as we still had the super trend in red. And we got a second green cross on the RSI at this point, as well as having our blue moving average on the RSI cross below the yellow moving average. So we will go ahead and place a sell stop order as well at the bottom of this trigger candlestick. Our stop loss is at the recent swing low, while our take profit level is a 2.2 times the risk. and we could see they were successful. Now, notice how both of these cross below the yellow moving average happened above the 50 band line on the RSI modified indicator. As we said earlier, this makes both trades valid. As if we had the cross below the 50 band line, then we would have been avoiding the trade. Now let's move on and show more examples before we back test our strategy. So here is a valid sell trade we would have taken. We could see that we had our conditions met here. As we see we still had the super trend on red as our first confirmation. We then waited till we got this green cross on the RSI indicator as our second confirmation. We then went ahead to wait till we got the blue moving average cross below the yellow moving average on our RSI indicator as the cross is still above the RSI 50 band line before we go ahead and place our sell stop order at the bottom of this trigger candlestick our stop loss and take profit levels still remain the same and we could see we had a nice win notice how we take trades at the points of reversals as this two indicators work well to eliminate bad trades please note that these RSI modified indicator as the name suggests is a modified version of the RSI indicator we all know, as it gives more accurate reading when identifying reversal points in a bullish or bearish trend. Ok traders, let's go ahead and back test our result, as we would be using an account size of $1000 and we would be going over 200 back test, as well as risking 1% of our account size on each trade. Let's dive into it. So we just finished the back testing for this strategy, and we can see that the results are fantastic for a high reward strategy. This could double your account size within days if you add more trending major pairs. Also try it out on cryptocurrency like Bitcoin and Ethereum, as they are really profitable.
We had a win rate of 70% in 200 back-tested trades, having won 141 trades and lost 59 which made us 224% return on investment, and I found those wonderful trade setups within 3 months, although commissions and spread fees would eat up some of the profit in real trading, because it was not included in the back-test, so you definitely want to expect that number to be lower when trading life. This strategy could get you a funded account within weeks, as the profit factor for this strategy is looking good. We had 12 wins in a row against 5 losses in a row, so yeah, I'm definitely happy with these results. Ok traders. That's it for today, thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.